is an extreme rules man, making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 130 pounds, Bruce the Dragon Dream. WWE's pop star is ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. Boom! What a stomp! Good grief! This might be it! Oh my! He's got the shoulders down. And he kicks out. Gonna take a whole lot more. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Yeah, double arm lock sunk. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Backbreaker! Oh, now that'll do some serious damage. <laughs> Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Ooh, what impact. Bringing it back into the ring. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's not out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? In an environment where it's not uncommon to see superstars beating their chests over how great they think they are, I find Lashley's reserved to the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Not yet. Oh boy, he is rolling. 
<laughs> After glow combo. This might be the opportunity he needed. He might have it. The two of you touched on it, Leo. Nailed it. I'm not sure how much he has left. He goes for the cover. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Still too fresh. Oh boy, he is rolling. Uh -oh. Oh, my oh my goodness, crushing it. What a strike. He's got him covered. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no counter here. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Harsh impact. Kick to the... Eludes that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's looking at it. Boom! <laughs> Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He wants no part of the outside. Can he score the pin? What is keeping this competitor going? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. You're not going to win many matches. It's rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two. Three. Yes. Takes it. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. This one's over, and here's your winner. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.